All right, Shalom Wong, Shalom Wong. All right, before we get started, I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh. All right, double honors to our elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom Wong to the elect, the ones out there doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. We're going to get right into it. This is a, a reading over Isaiah chapter 49. We're going to start at verse 1, break it down through the Spirit, you know, bring out precepts, you know, to get understanding. Yeah, but, uh, and this is Isaiah chapter 49, verse 1. The heading is, Salvation reaches to the end of the earth. It said, Listen, O owls, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord Yahweh hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother, hath he made mention of my name. Hey, the Lord is only talking to who? The Israelites. Right now, in this time, the elect, right? And the scriptures tell us in Joel 2 and 27, he's only in the midst of Israel, right? He's only our God. So you can't take this precept and think that he's talking to everybody, man. All right, it's context here. And you're going to see throughout the whole chapter that he's only talking to a specific group of people. All right? You got yeah. a precept for that, right? Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says, Bef before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Hey, this brings out so much. And it shows you that what is no free will, and that the Lord controls everything. Hey, those who are speaking right now on the highways and the byways, bringing out prophecy, and they were ordained from the beginning to bring this out. They were selected. Hey, the Lord created them from the womb, man. You know? To, to say the spirit of the prophets is subject, subject to the prophets. prophets. Hey, there's no coincidences in this truth. Hey, everybody's doing what they're supposed to do, man. You yeah, know? some of the men, some men on that just teaching his word are some of the same men we read about in the scriptures. Huh. You know, if we don't know who we are, you know, Lord willing, we'll be any elect. Huh. Yeah, someone, yeah. Um, I'll read verse 6. Isaiah 1, um, like Jeremiah 1 and 6. It says, Then said I, Ah, Lord, Yahweh, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. It said, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. See, it shows you, man, that it don't matter, you know, if you're a child or a grown man. If the Lord put that spirit on you, hey, man, you are called to do a duty, man. You are called to do a job. Hey, and he gonna, he gonna give you the necessary tools to complete that job too, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, because it's of the Lord's will. You got it, brother. And I was gonna say what Paul said, woe to me if I preach not the gospel. Ooh. You know? Yeah, because now that you know, you know, now is uh to, it says to, to whom much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. You know, and now that if you don't speak the word of the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, now you know the, the blood of those people we don't want are now gonna be upon your hands. That's right. But the Lord has to put that spirit upon you to go out and preach the word, regardless. Yeah. You know, but it but it lets you know in that verse and that Jeremiah said uh, uh, a prophet unto all the nations, mm -hmm. meaning that well twofold that unto all the nations because we know that uh, Israel is scattered through all the nations, right? We, we were scattered, we're a scattered people, and we may look like these other nations, but also given the judgment of the other nations, uh, uh, giving them warning as well that. These other nations are going to go into slavery. That's right. And Esau, Edom's judgment, so on and so forth. And that's what uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. You know, the Lord has made us a prophet um, to the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, I got you said Jeremiah 28. And 8. Yeah, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. Hey, and what do they, I'm going to get it done because I'm going to go into it. Yep. Hey, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me, before thee, of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Hey, that's what the prophets are our job to do, man. We're prophesying of what? War, evil, pestilence. And that's what you see uh, being part is part taken on the earth. You know, you got real bloody rivers happening, Euphrates River drying up, you got talks and rumors of war, you got the CBDC finna get ready to roll. You know, you got these nations lining up, ready to go against Babylon in the West. Hey, yeah, the change of the dollar, hey, uh, strange signs in the heavens. 
you know, people bugging out. Hey, all these things are prophesied. It was prophesied before it happened. That's right. You know? God. Hey, see, that's why the Lord is calling to the elect. That's why the Lord is calling the people because all these prophecies are coming to pass. All the, all the prophecies that the brother named is coming quickly, man. You know? And the Lord is equipping the ones who he won't. You know, so he calling out to the people. You know, calling out to the ones who are utilizing his name. Hey, think about that. You know, every time he gave us his name, he delivered us. Every time we called upon his true name, he delivered us out of captivity, man. And what he took his name from us, you know, for a time so we can suffer, so we can be persecuted. But now he gave it back. And so that means what? He gonna deliver us, man. Because he have a 100% track record on delivering everyone that truly called upon him in sincerity, man. Uh, second Edges 15 and 1 It said behold speak thou in the ears of my people The words of prophecy Which I will put in thy mouth Who saith the Lord And cause them to be written in paper For they are faithful and true And he said he put it in our mouth man hey, Ezra you know he was a prophet And you know we come in the, you know, the same line Of the prophets man hey, man hey, The words that we're saying It's not of our own words mm -hmm. These are the words of Yahweh Shah. It was recorded uh -huh. Written in paper <laughs> That's one of that verse too. <laughs> yeah. You got more on that? No, that was it on there. You got a Isaiah 49. Oh, okay. okay. It says, uh, verse it says Isaiah 49, verse 2. And he had made my mouth like a sharp sword. <laughs> In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me. Hey, what is that sharp sword? Hey, this truth, the word, man. Hey, this is a spiritual battle right now. The Lord has equipped us with the most deadliest weapon. That's ever created this word, man. Hey, there's precepts that back it up and show you that this word is a sword. Oh, well, Hebrews four and twenty. Let's bring them out, man. You got it. Yeah, it's Hebrews. Hold on. You got it, bro. That's my thing. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter four, verse twelve. It says, um, "For the sword, it's like it. For the word of the Most High Power is quick and powerful." And sharper than any two-edged sword. Hey, no matter what type of uh, sharpened brand you use or any, hey, it, it cannot cut as deep as this word can. Mm -hmm. And that's why people hate you, uh -huh. hate us. You know, the scripture says they hated them, they rebuke it in the gate. Uh -huh. Why? Because it is word is sharp. You know, it it goes deeper than any bullet, man. Yeah, it can it can, it can cut you physically. Yeah, and it can cut you spiritually. That's right. Uh -huh. You know, that's right. You, when you cut spirits, you, you fucks what you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like the old saying in the world, a truth, a truth is a hard pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. You know, that's <laughs> right. It's a hard pill to swallow. And you need the water to swallow a pill, right? Because why you contemplating it over and over again? Like, damn, yeah. he was right, but damn, it's vexing your spirit, man. Yeah. And you need, like I say, you need water to swallow, and the water this is to be the spirit. Because right. you know, yeah, the Lord got to quicken your understanding up. You see, you brass, like the movie The Matrix. Mm -hmm. You know, Neo gave me when Morpheus oh, presented it to me, he gave what? The red and the blue pills, right? Right, right. It's funny that you brought that up, man, because I was uh, going to try to say that about um, Isaiah 49 and 1. It came out the womb. I was thinking it was spiritually, yeah. meaning coming out the Matrix. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? And when you first come into the truth, Right, you come in as a babe, but no matter what, you still gotta speak the truth. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Damn. That's yeah, crazy. That's funny that you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll jump back to the uh, uh, yeah. I can finish uh, this right quick. Uh, this is how Hebrews chapter four, verse twelve. It says, For the word of the most high power is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even the dividing sunder of soul and spirit. <laughs> Right? And that's how it's a two-edged so it's good to say of the joints and marrow. Ooh, so it cut, what cuts deep like that, man? That gets down to the marrow. That's inside, that's the, inside bone. the bone. Right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Nothing cuts like that, man. This is why people despise you. This is why, you know, uh, this truth draws a line in the sand, man. You know? I tell it right here. It's an ant is a discerner. Of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's right. It, it, it brings out the, it brings out people's true intentions. Exactly. Uh -huh. You can't be phony around the spirit, man. The spirit uh -huh. gonna eventually reveal you for who you really are. That's right. Yeah. You know? Say uh, wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So wisdom gonna try you and uh, and, and and gonna figure out through through adversity who you really are. Man. That's right. You know.
hey, to be able to come upon that opportunity is a blessing, huh. right? Because ninety percent of this earth is malicious, huh. you know, huh. there is surrounded by wickedness. So for wisdom to try you, that's a great opportunity, man. You know, and we cannot take that lightly. That's, this is a battle, you know, that that's uh, that's made for champions, warriors, man. You know, what is the what other battle on the face of the earth is more important than this? You know, but that's Esau's job, right? God, God, God. Esau's job is to dilute you. You know, cloud you, cloud you with all this bullshit, right. man. Right, that's funny. I was going to say, and you only gonna know who you really are going through it. You see what I'm saying? You you got to go through it, and that's gonna determine whether you are a, a man or a mouse in a sense, man. You know, that's why he said, "What in the end? Then they shall know who are my yeah. chosen." Uh, right, because you're gonna go through something, man. You're gonna have to deny. The flesh, you know? Your, your love for the Lord is going to outseed anything this fucking world can offer right. you. Yeah, you know? I got a quick prayer if I may. It's Revelations 1 and 16. And he had in his right hand, this is speaking Yahweh mm -hmm. In And his right hand, seven stars. And out of his mouth went out a sharp two edged sword. And his countenance was as, was as the, the sun shining in his strength. Mm -hmm. Out of his mouth, that sharp two edged sword, this word. That's right. And then the Lord's coming back first. This word is, is breaking down what strongholds. Ooh. And it's eventually going to lead to what? The Lord come back and ultimately destroying this place mm -hmm. himself, man, with the angels. That's mm -hmm. right. And that's what we're doing with this word, where we, we, we cutting. And it's good to say, what? Think not come to send peace on the earth. Ooh, but, a Ooh, but a sword. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, not, you know, division. Because mm -hmm. what? When you grab that sword and you slice, what it does it cause? A division. You're going to. Get an actual uh, cut. Let's say if someone cuts you, it's gonna separate your arm from your, you know, chest. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just that simple. You know, the Lord is separating everybody, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so He cutting all hands. Yeah. <laughs> Demon slayer. Yeah. And literally will. God. Demon slayer style. Yeah. God. You know. We'll go back to that. Yeah. Now we can go back to that. Isaiah chapter um, forty-nine. Verse two again. It says, "And he had made." My mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft Ooh. in his quiver hath he hid me. So it but takes like time, yeah. right? To polish the shaft, that uh -huh. takes time. The Lord worked on him, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is working on us. It takes time on a process to become polished. Mm -hmm. You gotta sit there and, you know what I'm saying? You gotta wrap. I was gonna say he made us a weapon, huh? in a sense. Huh? Huh? You know, literally <laughs> a weapon. What you, he said like a, like a, uh, yep. it said a polished shaft in his quiver. Yep. Had he hit me, what you had, what you put in your quiver? Yeah, arrows. 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 <laughs> so look like weapons in a sense. And right now we're weapons by teaching word, and then we're going to be actual weapons. Jeremiah right. 16. Yeah, because 16. we not, we, yep. we not looked at as weapons uh, right now yeah. uh, because, why? Wow, it's a carnal war. You know what I'm saying? But we really being hid in the quiver, you know, when, when that time, when that time comes. Yep. Just polish it. Come on, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Polishing polish it with, with this word. Exactly. You know? Getting it right, because it's a difference between regular arrows come and polished ones. Right. Because what? When it hit the bow string, mm -hmm. it'll slide come. easier. Come on, come right? right into it. Exactly. Uh, like, it'll slide easier, easier, you know? Right. Yeah. Versus a uh, uh, bow that's not polished, you have probably like uh, indentations. It'll be dull. In it. Don't. It's like, don't. Gotta get this real quick. Yeah. Yeah. This is Micah 5 and 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion amongst the beasts of the forest, Ooh. as a young lion amongst a flock of sheep. So you can just visualize this. Yeah. Yeah. You put a young lion amongst a flock of sheep. Huh. What you gonna see? Huh. 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 fucking blood. <laughs> <and> blood <laughs> just flying in the air. Man. The Lord turn us into money. That's mighty. It shows you that it only took the Lord to put them over us. It's a it's a ordained <clears throat> ideal punishment for us, man. That we had to go through this, you know, because we're bigger than them, we're better than them, we're lions among sheep. But now we have to we had to be humbled, man. And we're sheep amongst wolves. Exactly. You know? And it says, uh, continue on, verse eight, Michael five and eight. Who is who if he go through both tread it down and tear in pieces and none can deliver? <laughs> and speaking of the remnant, mm -hmm. the Lord got remnant. And on that video that one uh, Eve, she said, man, there's some men on the earth. She was making 144,000 that yeah, huh? pretty much going to get busy out here, you know? And Esau knows this. Why do you think he got all his weaponry? Direct energy weapon, um, you know, uh, robots, robots, mm -hmm. robo dogs, uh, 
these Gerger troops, these different uh, technological uh, weapons, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, cause he know, hey, the Lord finna activate the elect. Yeah. It's gonna be brothers even, you know, before the Lord come doing mighty acts. We see your brothers just doing incredible shit, bro. You know? And we're doing a mighty act now, man. It's just yeah. not being respected. It's not gonna be respected, man, until the Lord, okay, you know. That's yeah. <laughs> what did the Lord say? You should do greater works than I am. Why does he return back to the Father, you know? Hey, Baruch, 2 and 30 is happening right now. That's a prophecy and a miracle that's taking place at this moment. We're waking up, calling upon the Lord, you know, in the land of our captivity. That's a miracle, and that's a spiritual power that's happening. In order to speak future things that's coming and it actually happened, that's a superpower, man. Hey, the fact that, not to cut you off, the fact that we all was at one point in our life, somebody would have told you one day you're going to be prophesying. You look at him like, hey, shut your ass up. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? And then now look at you, Dylan G, you love it. You out there just, just doing the work, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, we have our lows, we have our moments where we like, you know, we go, because we in the flesh, we in the war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you we get we get excited to go teach, man. Yeah. Hey, look at our apostles, man. Yeah. Thirty five, still got that excitement like a like a child. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like, we see Apostle Taha, he still, yeah, brother, you know. Yeah. Huh? You know, you know, Apostle Rakab, Apostle Remlock, you know, our apostles, man, they still see him at an old age, but you can still see that youth yeah. in them. Yeah. Because they, they get excited about teaching this word, man. Mm -hmm. It shows that it's the Heavenly Father. You know, we ain't doing this out of our own will. It's the Lord that gives us spirit. Yeah. You know? Hey, the Lord said if it had not been for Him, these enemies would have consumed us, man. Hey, that's the only reason we're alive. Oxygen in our lungs is because the Lord wakes us up every day. But people ignore that. That's not important to them. You know? But the things that's not important is set at great dignity, man. You know? Sexy man. We can go back to the. Uh, yeah. It says uh, Isaiah forty nine and three, and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Hey, that's what it's about. The Lord brought us out of Egypt, what to make His name be glorified in the earth. You know, the Lord wants to be glorified again. Times that, ten times, a hundred times that. That's why He allowed Babylon. To, uh, to do the thing she did, right? So his name can be glorified again. And who? Yasharala, man. The elect. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, and truly, through your our side. Because uh -huh. when you when you go through it, for like, for women, it's just really speaking of your our side. Mm -hmm. he, was the, he was the main servant of Israel in whom he will be glorified. Glorified who? The Father. Mm -hmm. The Father giving glory unto his son. You know? And then he's going to bring... Uh, uh, glory to his name to Yahweh. Well, it's all through Yahweh, of course. Uh -huh. But now, this time, when he delivers us out of the spiritual Egypt, glory is going to be given to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because the Father is sending down his son now yep. to get him the glory. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all through the son. Hey, I got a precept. I got two of them, man. Two uh -huh. quick hitters. Uh, Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold, my servant, whom I will uphold, my elect. In whom my soul delighteth. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Who? You know? And, and who are the, the natural Gentiles, right? As well as what? Two thirds of our people who have a mindset, you know, of their father, the devil, man. You know, so the Lord is coming back to, to uh, give what? Two, two uh, different sides. For one side is going to give the judgment, and one side is going to give the blessings, man. You know? It says, uh, I'm going to go back, this is Isaiah 41 and 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Hey, that's what, it's all about the blessings, man. The Lord gave it to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? Those blessings. It's not really of our works, man. You know? It's because of the promises that the Lord made to our forefathers, man. He made his word. That's right. And the scripture says, what? The Lord changed not, man. Well, so he loves us, you know? No matter what we went through, no matter what we have to overcome, he's gonna always choose us, man. And it happened countless times throughout the history, throughout scripture, that he always chose us, man. Well, 
get choose Israel. <laughs> and you can think, you can think, who did he give his only begotten son yeah. out for? <laughs> who did he give for a ransom for the sins of who? Uh, Yashara, the starting with the elect. Yeah. And it's, man. That's right. They, they elect being joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. Hey, that's beautiful, man. You know, and Yahweh Shah actually taking it on his chin. Yeah, I'll do it for him. Man, bro. He died for his brother. Hey. It's his nation. Hey, what do you say? There's no greater love yeah. Yeah. than this that a man laid down his life for his, for his, friend, for his friend, for his brother, man. Roughly paraphrasing the scriptures, you know? Hey, because it's reasonable. He died for us, man. So that's your reasonable service, you know? Like it's like a true brother. Like, would you die for the ops? You know, like they say, you know, <laughs> die for the ops. You know, like, die for your, your land, you know, your brothers, you know, that you, although it's all folly, but you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. You go, yeah. Die for your, Jacob die for his block because he got love for his, his homies. Oh, yeah. Die for the Yeah, yeah, what does it make sense for you to die for the whole world? Yeah, die yeah. for the ops. When, <laughs> when the world came against your people, right? Count this time and time again, right? See, they, that's the difference. You're not blessed when you die for flock, uh, folly. Mm -hmm. The scripture says you are blessed when you when you die for righteousness sake. In Matthew chapter 5 and verse 10, roughly paraphrasing, you know. So you have to die for a particular reason, man. You have to die for the Lord, you know. That's how you're going to get your crown immediately. You know. Honorable. Hey, that's beautiful, man. Right. You know. Um, <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 49 verse 4 then I said I have labored in vain I have spent my strength my strength for not and in vain hey, that's, if I may add, hey, that's Israel man we labored in vain mm -hmm. you know before we came to this truth we was what brainwashed by the quote unquote American dream you know we all had asked dreams and aspirations according to this world and what you know we wanted to be was you know, being a rapper or only on business or drug, drug you know, drug dealer <laughs> or lead <laughs> man, hippie nigga, you know, I'm you know, Jake, you know, all kind of shit. But the Lord, you know, he, he woke us up from that illusion. And now we're seeing the world from a different set of lenses and we realize that American dream is, is really a fucking nightmare, you know, and it's going to lead to not vain because it's going to be what this place is going to be destroyed, you know. I got a quick precept. Um, I'm going to start at verse 18. It says, Ezekiel chapter 3. It says, When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak it to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. This is a motivation on why the prophets are out here on the streets. They don't want the blood on their hands, man. They want to warn you. You know, this gives us the drive, man, to um, actually, you know, save ourselves as well, man. Ultimately, what gives us a drive is the terror of the Lord. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah. I'm the terror of the Lord, we persuade, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, a good example is Jonah. Huh? Yeah. Jonah tried to, he, he tried to escape the will of the Lord, and then through the terror of the Lord, he huh? said, yeah, you know, he went to the next one, What did the Lord had to do? Put his ass in the, in the, yeah. in the belly of a beast. Yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> uh, it's verse 19. It says, If thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So this shows you how in verse 4 he's not really working in vain. He's not his his you know, he's out here telling the scripture says what the um the uh harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, so what? Pray for pray for more laborers. Uh, you, you know like the guy uh you know, like Call of Duty, you know, before you send an aerial strike, you mark the area, mm -hmm. you know, and put an area here. <laughs> precision know, airstrike. Yeah, right. precision airstrike, you know, so hey, and if you mark some certain areas, you don't mark, you know, like, hey, that area's gonna be cool, but you mark in that area, like, this shit, you hit, you know, you get hit with what? Fire, right? now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but thou hast delivered thy soul, you see? So it's a, it's a beautiful, um, you know, uh, reward in preaching, you know. You can actually cover your own sins as and well as, yes, yeah, someone yeah. else's, and the angels in, re in heaven rejoice after one sin and repent, you know. So it's a beautiful work, you know. Yeah, brother. Uh -huh. This is Isaiah chapter 49. Uh, verse 5. Verse, did I finish yeah, 4? Yeah, verse yeah. 4. I got to finish 4. It says, in the middle of 4, it says, yet, yeah, Surely my judgment is with the Lord, Yahweh, and my work with my vow. 
Verse 5, it says, And now, saith the Lord Yahweh, that born me from the womb to be a servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my power shall be my strength. Hey, this is the time where we're not gathered, man. You know, but the Lord is what? Bringing us together through the Spirit, waking us up mentally. Right? And then he's going to take us out physically, like in prophesy in Revelation 18 and 4, man. Via those chariots, man. Watching Babylon being destroyed via nukes. You know? Hey, you got a breath? No, you got this. I got a freestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, Hosea 1 and 10. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 9. And it said, Then said the, the Most High, Call his name Lo I mean, but ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. And that was happening for you know a period of time. He was asleep. Hey, the Lord discontinued from us from my heritage. Uh -huh. But now we've been quickened. Hey, Ezekiel 37. Uh, 37. Revelation, yeah. Revelation Revelation 11 and 8. Yep. You know, a hey, wisdom of Solomon 5. You know? mm -hmm. Anyway, it said verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered, and we cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people. There shall be said unto them, you are the sons of the living power. Yeah, and we in that place. You know, we in that place right now, man. Well, well, well they, they saying we not the people. Mm -hmm. And there's another people uh, in, in our place pretending to be us. That's right. You know? That's the spirit that I seen. Well, I seen two of them rat daddies uh, early. You know, Master Splinter. Yeah. Man, they, they, they did a simulation. <laughs> they, they went in, copied, and then killed the people. Copy and paste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do all right. You know, you you already know it's I S H that pre uh, that suffix, man. You already told on yourself. You know, it means pertaining to or want to be like. So we know you're not the real Jew, man. You know. It says, uh, right, Jew, we better go over. Anyway, uh, <laughs> verse eleven. This shall the children of Israel and the children of it. Uh, Children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Hey, that one head is who Yahweh shot, man. Under Yahweh, you know? Hey, the scriptures tell us it's going off to put to put anybody, you know, vote for anybody that's um, outside of your nation, man. You know? You, hey, you're supposed to be voting for Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai at all times, man. Not these other carnal people that's of the world, you know? Joe Biden. Yeah. Donald Trump. Hey, man, that's that's going off, man. You know, because you believing in a nation that will not save you. Trust me, man. Even, even niggas that, that you, even niggas in politics. Mm -hmm. Fucking yeah. black, uh, the damn black dude that ran for president. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that clown. Yeah. So the quote unquote doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I may uh, grab this word, uh, Jezreel. Ooh, it's that because uh, it said for grace shall be the day of Israel. When you when you look it up, or in the blue letter, it says Israel means God plants. So literally, and you think over there. So you think like like we're the, he's gonna plant us back in in his rightful soil. So yeah. what that land that soil is gonna flourish. You know, you know it's gonna be the the rightful seed. You know what I'm saying? That Dead. it's also gonna grow. Mm -hmm. And now, right now, that soil is defiled. Mm -hmm. you know? He, the people over there, they're the the, uh, the phonies, mm -hmm. right? And the Lord's keeping His promise that He made, like the brother was saying earlier, through the through the ancestors, back to the seed, back to the lineage through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He had the covenant that He's that He's going to be our power, mm -hmm. and we're going to have the land of Canaan. Come, we're going to be playing by those waters. Is that Psalms uh, chapter two? Uh, you don't know anything about fire. They said they. Uh... If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure I think fire, when they have fire and they burn like a land, it actually helps provide nutrients. Yeah, it's a uh, preservative. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nature preserve. Yeah, it helps yeah. the land, uh, the dirt, the soil. It says uh, controlled fire to uh, preserve the land. And yeah, because yeah, fire is a cleansing yeah. agent. Mm -hmm. and, and you can actually, um, it's like biodegradable. You can, you can actually use that with Daniel soil. Yeah, he uh, makes charcoal. Yeah. You can use charcoal as a uh, yeah, yeah, filter. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, it's like a um man, I forgot the word. I'm doing it in my backyard now. But um uh, it'll come to it. It'll come. But you can put it in your soil 
to actually um, cultivate and you know, things like that. It brings um, nutrients to the soil. Yeah. yeah. So when well, you got a, 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 a soil that's very got a lot of nutrients, hey, Come. you plant a seed in that soil. <clears throat> Whatever you oh, it's gonna sprout up. It's gonna, it's gonna flourish. Quick, big, you know, flourish. Yeah. Especially if it's supposed to be there. Yeah. You know, right. right? It's meant for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. what's gonna happen to the land of Israel? Those rats gonna get burned up the land. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right along with the Palestinians and right along with the Ethiopians. All of them get burnt out of our land, man. Because none of them belong there. Even the wicked Israelites that went over there mm-hmm. thought they finna escape judgment. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Nah, right. fire coming over there too, man. Yeah. <laughs> This is Isaiah chapter 49, verse so I can first um six of them. Six. I think we finished off. Uh, yeah. Verse six it says that he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob mm-hmm. and to restore uh to restore the preserve of Israel. And it's the prophet's job. Right? The Lord's saying it's a light thing. You know? Hey, this yeah. is beautiful. You know? It gets, hey, this is a light affliction, really, compared to forever. You know? This moment here, you know, the hey, this is a captivity right here that's been harsh, but hey, the Lord has been blessing us through it, man. You know? Up until this day, man. You know? And the Lord is going to continue to allow us to get out of this, man. A prophet's job is to what? Raise up the people. Rouse them up. The scripture says, who shall rouse them up? And the prophets will, man. Every time, every time the, the, the ending was coming in each of those captivities, the Lord sent out prophets to warn, to rouse the people up, to let them know what's ha- what was going to happen. And that's what's happening now, man. The Lord is putting the spirit on, on and man, a man, each individual man, to get that, get that, uh, that spirit, that gush of wind. Huh, that's uh, the purpose of a homecoming. You know, uh, uh, when it comes to, you know, you get the band in there, yeah, you, yeah, school, yeah. you know, it's going to rouse you up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it's funny, this is called a homecoming. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be coming home. And like I said, and to restore the preserve to Israel. Mm-hmm. You know, it would be a lack. That's right. The preserve. The preserve. Yeah. Whether it's yeah. kind of like that yeah. preserve, right. Hey, these, you don't touch them. The Lord said, what? He have 7,000 men that have not bowed the knee to Baal, man. Talk about completion. Right? You gotta rust that one song. Oh, I can't wait to be in that number. The same song. The same song. Oh, I can't wait to be in that number. You see that bitch like that? It's like, man, that shit feels good. Yeah, it gets you, man. It gets you motivated, man. You know? I got a quick free about me. Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. To preach good tidings unto the, the meek. meek. Unto the who? The meek. The, meek. The, the ones that have a certain characteristic. You see, the Lord is teaching us how to be a prophet mm-hmm. too as well, man. Nice. You got camps out here that's doing, trying to teach the word unto the prideful. Mm-hmm. And if you identify this characteristic, try, try, and then dust the, you know what I'm saying, the soles of your feet and go on, man. As I, if I may, it said good tidings to the, to the who? To, to the, the meek. You know, but it's, it's a bad, it's a bears of bad news, you know, pretty much. To the pride. To the pride. Exactly. Man, the pride. Kind of, you know? Because mm-hmm. what? That, that's a curse you're doing. Uh-huh. You know, when you kick up the dust of thy feet. Mm-hmm. You know, you 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 sh- you letting them know that, hey, I can't do nothing with you, you know? I'm going to go on to the next person uh, who has this characteristic of humility. Uh-huh. Some people have it seeping off them, but then others, you know, need practice, uh-huh. you know? Because being prideful is natural, uh-huh. right? We've been in this captivity, right? But humility takes practice, man. Uh-huh. You know, when through different situations that come upon your life, you have to... Utilize, you know, practice and discipline. Like, damn, you know, put that pride aside, yeah. or either apologize for the pride if you yeah. find yourself in that situation. Because if Jake had any wits about himself, he, there's no reason why he should be proud. You know, you yeah. have the lows of everything. You yeah. know, this this ain't your I have I heaven, yeah. I kingdom man. You walk around right. proud, for you, man. Hey, that's what the truth do. <laughs> it humbles you. Yeah, you be like, damn, like, all right. We, I'm nothing right now. <laughs> the Lord want me to have a crunch our heart. You look around like that. I don't got shit. This what? world has beaming and beaming. You know? Yeah, like God. Damn. Right, and then you come in and be like, all right, the light at the tone, we're going we gonna to get up out of here. Right. You know? You're going to hit you to start searching more, man. Because the Lord give you the ending right there. Like, oh, yeah, you're going you gonna to be blessed. You're going to get over it. Right? And you start searching throughout the history. Like, why? How? You know? 
Yeah. No, I was gonna say, especially to those that, that felt that they got themselves out of the jam like yeah, each and exactly. every time, that, and then coming to realize, damn, I'm oh, just playing sure. water, and there's mm-hmm. some power that is over me. That's, yeah. right. that's, that's over our people. Earth and ashes. And, yeah. it's, and it says, uh, along the lines of pride is the, uh, is the beginner, the be- beginning of uh, uh, Well, that one is said, uh, uh, pardon from his maker. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 What was the situation? Keep right. us home. You go to work. Mm-hmm. Some nigga bitch over you. Man. <laughs> you gotta just like, you know, physically Come. and mentally, you could dominate the, you know. Come. You gotta swallow your tongue and, yeah. and, and do what you gotta do. To yeah, make, or you make work, a living. Or you yeah. at work and you gotta eat them out on the damn formula like you on a goddamn horse. Like slave driving mm-hmm. and shit, man. That shit, that shit pisses you off, man, in a sense, man. But you know, you gotta stay humble in a sense. A young, a young uh, uh, eat them like, you know, on 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 a forklift like he on a horse, man. That's what I was. That's what I be thinking, man. When I be at work like this motherfucker slave driver, man. Yeah. You know. Now you see princes upon the ground and, uh, and service upon horses. Hey, that's the yeah. that's the the way that the Lord have it right now, man. You know. But guess what? That position is gonna change, and that's what we reading through Isaiah forty nine, man. Mm-hmm. How it's gonna change through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. It says, uh, continuing on, Isaiah 61 and 1, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives. Hey, the brokenhearted. Who's, who else is broken other than us, man? Hey, we're broken mentally. The scripture says, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. That's how we're destroyed. But guess what? He's building that back up. He's given us the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. So we're not destroying them, the elect. Hey, they're looking. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. They're searching for wisdom daily, man. So we cannot be destroyed like the others, you know? It says, and an opening of the prisons to them that are bound mm-hmm. to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. He said to set the uh, slack in that one, the part with bounds to set uh, uh, this, freedom. This, uh, the, I'm going to read it. Uh, yeah. At the end of uh, Isaiah 61 and 1, it says to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisoners of, 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 of the prison to them that are bound. Hey, we're bound what in this prison, mm-hmm. and we're also bound physically yeah. in the spirit. This the flesh is weak. The flesh is you know is a uh, daunting man, you know. But the spirit is willing. So we're trapped in this never-ending battle until Yahweh shall come and free us, man. You know, that's the war. That's the battle that the Lord has taken off us. That's why it says pr- uh, freedom to the prisoners that are bound. We're bound by this flesh, man. These are chains of darkness. Like you know? Batman without his equipment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Batman ain't shit without that damn the Utility belt. Yep. Yeah, yeah. utility belt. You know, and that's the <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like James Bond without his gadgets. Yeah. Iron Man without his suit. Yeah. You ain't, ain't running to no fire without your fire suit on. Right. You know, police without his gun. Yeah. You know, that's right. us, man. We, we, we ain't got our power, man. The Lord took our power. He took our might from us. That's right. Esau got his power just punching us in the face. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Con- shooting Con- us. <laughs> yeah. Con- 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 yeah. Con- Con- shooting us. Yeah. Hanging yeah. us. But we are, we, are, we are free uh, spiritually. That's right. John yeah. 8 and 32. Yeah, yeah, that you should know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And we and that and that starts with learning his word, man. Mm-hmm. And we learn this word, man. What what are we free from them bounds and those wiles of the of Satan, man? Right. You know, that, that, that all that um that uh what's that uh, that idol worship shit man we was in before, man. Right. You know, we, we we broke free from that shit, man. You know? Slowly breaking free right now. <clears throat> hey, let's sit on. Okay. Isaiah chapter 49, verse six, six it okay. says and he said, Is it a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel? I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. You're not talking about any Gentile. Yeah. It's about the Israelites, man. Yeah. See, because you had those you know, Christians like, you know, whole cab alone. Mm-hmm. You know, I see he's talking about, no, it's talking about the Israelites, man, because we was once Gentiles, man. You know, living with a uh, living on just like Paul, and you know they was he was the apostle for what the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, those who were scattered, yeah. following the customs and the ways of these different heathens, man. You know, just like us, man. Before we came to the truth, some bring what the Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, uh, Halloween. You 
you know, uh, Greek fraternities, you know what I'm saying, frats and all that shit, you know, Freemason, whatever the case may be, those, I, that was made of Gentiles to the Lord. The Lord called us from that, and he's like, no, follow me. This is the way, you know? That's right. Uh, I, call, I quoted a precept earlier, but I can grab it here just to back it up. This is Joel 2, 27. It says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. You see, so the Lord is only our power. He's only our God. Hey, be selfish with this, man. You know? Hey, this is not for everybody. You know, this is for the Lord's men. You know, this is for the elect. The scriptures tell you what his pastor, this, uh, it's like, yeah, it's, uh, like my pastor. Our man. Man. Huh, you got it, brother. You know? you know, it's like children. Children are possessed like a little girl, especially a little girl. This is my daddy. You know? <laughs> yeah, because you know? that's it. Yeah. Like my daddy, man. She see like a little girl, see like little kids try to cut like, mm -hmm. yeah. Another mm -hmm. little girl try to grab her daddy in. She's like, oh, you get mad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Possessive pronouns yeah. throughout the Bible. Hey, that's what you see the Lord raising up men, right? He's setting things in order, you know, through the Spirit. So that way, what, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3 can take place, that order, you know? And when it's out of order, this is what we get, you know? Yeah, you got Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, child, you know? But in Christianity, you got the Most High, Jesus, <laughs> the nigga woman, and then you know, <laughs> hey, that's been plenty. You got Willie Lynch letters out there that's yeah. literally letting you know how to set it up, put the nigga woman in front, and have Jake big and in the back scared, right. you know, because the, hey, the women raise their children up to be that way. Do you look in a no, you look in a black household, the mother is raising their daughters to be all masculine and headstrong and go get it. While the men are being raised to be what? Needy, you know, um, uh, needed to stay on the breast, man. You know? And then you witchcraft through the music. Motherfucking, uh, is it when the salt and pepper and shit? Or, uh, you got the nigga with the tuxedo, uh, the shirtless with the, with the bow tie, feet, uh, uh, and shit, yeah, swollen as hell, that pussy ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's upsetting. So he using all those muscles just to feed her grapes, <laughs> man? Yeah. That's a warrior, yeah. man. Yeah. He's supposed to be on the battlefield or yeah. something. Yeah, they, they pushed that gentle, <laughs> gentleman spirit yeah. from back in Rome. Romanticism and all yeah. that bullshit. But yeah, you be manly, yeah. you be manly, man. They call it toxic masculinity. Ooh, hey, they they call this truth toxic masculinity, man. Because mm -hmm. this is the most manliest thing you can be a part of, man. This gives you extra testosterone, knowing that you're gonna be a king, beheading your enemies one day, man. Hey, you yeah. purpose, yeah. 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 You know? And if I may say, man, you imagine when the nations watch those music videos, they be looking. Mm -hmm. That shit make us look embarrassing as a nation, like yeah. Yeah. niggas. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. With a like fucking a with a, with a bow tie tied around his neck, no shirt on, <laughs> just feeding these whole grapes. She's sitting there like she, you know. Mm -hmm. I forgot that stupid ass song, you know. <laughs> baby face spit. I know the song. Right. Soon as I get Drink home from work. Through, bro. Like, and really, that goes back to Esau because he's like that, man. Come. He's a, a natural born simpy faggot, man, you know? Excuse yeah, my language. They gotta put this by the wife. Yeah, see what she says. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> it says, uh, Isaiah 49 7. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, the Redeemer of Israel. It said they're not the Redeemer of the earth. Or. This is the same. That's how you know these Christians, these wacky attacking Christians, bugged out. Mm -hmm. The same power destroyed the Egyptians. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So was he all nations? He loved all nations then? Don't make no damn sense, man. You hey, know? throughout the history, it shows you that on one account, how the Lord just said Israel sit aside. He just started raining, uh, I think, like. Uh, hell. Hell. Yeah, hell to start killing <laughs> multiple armies. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Jake didn't even have to fight one battle. Right. They just sat there and the Lord just killed him. Yeah. Hey, the Lord is a man of war, according to Exodus 15 and 3, man. These people are gentle. The Lord destroyed entire armies for Jake. 
Hey, hey, they surrounded. Hey, that one by they surrounded us. They outnumbered us, and the Lord said, "You ain't even got to fight." <laughs> He rained hell on that. <laughs> like he, uh, he wiped out that camp while they were asleep, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Killed like so many men of them. Thousands. Hey, hey, man, the Lord don't play, man. Sent that death, death angel. I got a redeemer in the blue there. Uh, it, it says, uh, redeemer. It says, to redeem, act as kinsman, mm. redeemer, avenge, revenge, ransom. Mm -hmm. Hey, do the part of a kinsman. Hey, what's good to say in Deuteronomy 28, 68? Mm -hmm. No man shall redeem you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It said yeah. no man. Uh, mm -hmm. should buy you. But what the Lord said. That's what the Lord said. He has a man. That should not be the <laughs> ass. <laughs> He's coming to say yeah. 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 a little clue right there. Man, yeah. 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 Lord, like, uh -huh. yeah. nah, yeah. nobody going to save you on this earth. Yeah. <laughs> Look for me to come and save you. Exactly. And his name, Yahawashah, he delivers. Mm -hmm. Or he shall save, man. Hey, that's what we're looking forward to, man. Yeah. Not no Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying? Everybody voting for him, uh, you know, starting now for the next elections and shit. He got 80% of the vote. Mm -hmm. Everybody else got two and three and, you know what I'm saying? And all that shit. But meanwhile, got, he, behind, meanwhile, he mentioned bringing back guillotines. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Nero, Who man. Who you think that shit for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Nero, man. Thank you, niggas, for voting me in. Right. <laughs> yeah. Get that chop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And I, if I may, I did say kinsman in that uh, kinsman in that uh, definition as well too. And what is that, man? Your relative, man, of blood, of blood descent, man. That's right. Yeah. Like I said, in Romans nine, who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? According yeah. to the flesh. That's right. Yeah. That's what it is. Hey, that says a lot, bro. With the shot, right? <laughs> that, says <a> lot. <laughs> yeah. that says a lot right there. Going to the flesh. Because yeah. mm -hmm. they going into the covenants, the promises, everything, yeah. man. It, it shows you. Hey, our brother Paul, man, was, you know, on point, man, right. to give us those uh, yeah. those breadcrumbs. Right. You got it, brother. Now, Romans 9 and 3. It says, For I can wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren. My brethren. Mm -hmm. My kinsmen. Yeah. Said, yep. <laughs> hey, yeah. It shows you the mindset to have. Yeah. That, that's the mindset to have, to be able to be a curse, to be able to put yourself in that position to think, I wish I, I, wish I was in that place. Yeah, I wish I was the one who done that. Do you know how much emotion and care that has to take uh -huh. to put yourself in that position to say that? Mm -hmm. This is not a light thing to be a part of, man. That's a, that's a strong emotion that that you have to you know uh, understand it. You have to display, man. You have to be able to put your life on the line for your brethren. You know, not saying like do it carnally, nah, man. But you know, if something happens, you got to be willing to aid. You know, we on. You know what I'm saying? You might have to happen. Girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, selfless. Huh? be selfless. That's the thing. That's what he's saying, man. Be selfless. That's why we're on the front line of a uh, spiritual war. Mm -hmm. So hey, you may have to die for your brother. You don't want to be. Uh, I think Elder D Max did a. Uh, he posted a video or something like that, and we're going to. Uh, I think it was uh, Sacred Private Ryan, the movie. The one, the one nigga watched his buddy yeah. get killed. He was yeah, scared yeah. and shit. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be that guy, bro. You, well, you could have helped. Yeah. You could have helped. He had a full automatic. He had grenades on him and all that, but fear overtook him. Hey, if you, courage is not you have absent of fear. No, courage is what you do when that fear, you know, take place. What you do afterwards, man. You allow that you know? fear to, to consume you, or do you swallow that fear and you control it? Exactly. That's the only difference. You know, you either gonna shake up or you gonna use that fear to motivate you. You know. Hey, well, it's good to say. I believe in Timothy, the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. fear yeah. But of a, a sound mind and a love of some power and a love. And Hey, think of a sound mind. You're still. You're rooted. I'm talking about you in there doing moves. <laughs> face still and shit. Just cutting off necks and shit. Just think about that like shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just because the Lord blessed your hands to fight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, at the end of the day, that's how you're doing it in the spirit too. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord is equipping us in the spirit as well as physically too. Brothers are taking jujitsu and you know other things as well. You know other mixed martial arts because. You know, it's it's able to you know help out and a body and a mind is beautiful when it works together and it's healthy. Yeah. Diet. You know, diet. Huh. You know. I didn't go back to it. Oh. 
Yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Romans nine. Uh, yeah, we do two parts. Yeah, yeah. Romans, Romans nine parts. and three. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach. Uh, it says, uh, or the anointed for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption. Yep, the adoption. Hey, let's go into the adoption. Yeah, let's bring it out. What is the adoption, man? Hey, bring it back who? The Gentiles. Right? The Gentiles who are Israelites with a Gentile state of mind, a foreigner state of mind. You know? That's what this is about, man. Waking up the people. You got it, bro. Uh, I got a quick three. Uh, Psalms 147 and 19. He show off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. Mm. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. He ain't dealing with no other Jacob. He ain't dealing with no other nation, man. And who the Lord was dealing with on Mount Sinai? He was dealing with Moses of the tribe of Levi of the nation of Israel. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? Who made who he made the covenant with? The nation of Israel. Who he delivered out of out of Egypt? The nation of Israel. You know, and then what happened was that that, that fame went out through the land. They robbed the harlot. She said, We had heard of what your power done. She said, The men here, well, they wax, you know, and when the Lord come back in his glory, the scripture say, Every eye shall see him. That's right. Every every knee shall bow. You know, right now we, we, hey, it's time for the Yahweh Shemar Sha to get the glory, man. Huh. You know, our glory gonna come in the kingdom, but right now we're glorifying the Lord. That's right. Because he deserve it, man. Yahweh Shah deserve his glory, his shine. And true, and he's gonna come back in true fashion, man. That's you right. Know? Hey, the scripture says what? He's worthy to be praised. You got people out here saying he's not worthy to be praised. What he died for you, man. Well, technically, he died for the elect, but, you know, I mean, he just, you know, he died for the entire nation as well to get, you know, that uh, that blessing. But right now, hey, the elect is going to be delivered, you know. But, hey, the Yahweh is worthy to be praised. He's the one that unsealed the books, you know. Hey, the, the scriptures say that the angels bow down. Millions exactly. of angels in the heaven bow down God. and worship them. Hey, you have three, uh, three men. We call them three wise men. They came to see Yahushua as a baby. They came. We come here to God, worship, worship him. Yeah. When well, he was hey, a baby, that's what Herod said too. Yeah. You know, Herod trying to be uh, trying to kill him. You know, yeah. but he actually said that man. Where you know what I'm saying? Where the baby so I can bring him here so I can worship him. Hey, like the movie on uh, the Lion King. You know, uh, you know when they uh, when Rafiki held up Simba yeah, as a yeah, baby, yeah, right. all all the animals of the of, of, the, of, the, of the field bow down. Yep. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yeah. That represents who? You have a shot, man. Yeah. You know, the Savior, because what? When he was raised up, everything started to be brought back to life. And shit, the animals started singing, yeah. dancing. You know, <laughs> come on, man. It was happy. And the scriptures tell us that, man, you know, when the Lord be raised up, man, the people is going to rejoice. You know? Righteous. Yeah. Preach up the, to back you up. This is 2nd Ezra 3 and 32. And then I'm going to jump. It says, uh, or, uh, yeah, it says, or is there any other people that knoweth thee beside Israel? Or what generation have so believed thy covenants as Jacob? Ooh. It says, uh, and it shows you, man, hey, it's not in the children of men to serve the Lord. All right, it's not in the children of the wicked to serve the Lord. He created the children of the righteous, right, <clears throat> to serve the Lord. Those are three classifications of people, man. All right, so it's up, it's within those people, the children of the righteous, to serve the Lord, and within that is the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, two thirds, they ain't even their mindset to serve yeah, the Lord. Exactly. So they feel the Lord is taught about what? The, the precepts, precepts of, of man. man. Should just say what? Uh, Romans 11. Or what Israel? I don't want to butcher it. Oh, what then? Some don't believe. Yeah, because they seek for it, you know. They seek for oh, the wills and they God, seek God. for knowledge. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, right? then Israel not attain what he's seeking. Yeah, yeah. I got this yeah. precept. Matter of fact, yeah. like, but the rest were blind. Yeah. It goes into it. It's, uh, Romans 11 and 1. I say then, have the Most High cast away his people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will forbid it. I am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Mm -hmm. The Most High hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Mm -hmm. Will ye not? What the scripture said of uh, of Elijah, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, "The Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars, 
and I am left alone, they seek my life. But you have wicked Israelites, just like you have wicked Israelites now, that's trying to come up against this truth. Mm -hmm. You know? And just like you have wicked Israelites with Moses, man. Yeah. You know what it's saying, John 3, 16, as a... Uh, well, 14, as, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, in the wilderness hey, so show you how a shot be lifted up. Right? Yeah. You know? it says, he's, the, he's the intercessor. Moses was the intercessor then, you know, and, and how a shot would be the intercessor. Hey, just like when Yahweh shot walked the earth, everybody didn't agree with the Lord. Nah, exactly. Yep. You had the wicked scribes and Pharisees that, that, that came out, and, you know, that, that spoke against him, yes. you know? That's a good indicator that reincarnation is real. You had the same thing in Maccabees with the... Huh. Uh, yeah. You know, our people selling selling out Jake to the heathen. Uh, uh, it says right. verse four, mm -hmm. what said what's what but what said the answer of the most high to him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men Ooh, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Mm -hmm. Even so then at this present time also there is a remnant who according to the election of grace hey, you think? Yeah. <laughs> and said to the image of all now the modern day image of all you could allude that to the nwo okay. uh, Seven thousand men that that complete uh that complete number the elect that are not going to bow down to the image of the beast mm -hmm. in these times okay. you know through what through the grace through Ooh. the favor of y'all bashim y'all shy hey, he said that's what separated the grace you know, the, he gave, the, read that again. Man. That's beautiful. <laughs> it says, uh, Romans 11 and 5, even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. According to the election of grace, the remnant has a particular grace measured out to them, you know, yeah. the elect, yeah. right? And with that grace, you're invincible. If you, The elect are invincible, man. Yeah, They're going to make it until the end. You know, and the grace that he gave you is sufficient. You know, it's, you don't need more. You don't, you don't need, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to lessen because it's already ordained from the beginning. My grace is sufficient. So it's sufficient. It's just, yeah. mm, here you go. <laughs> the Lord just gave it out to his men. Like, all right, no matter what situation come upon you, it's always a way out. He gave you the just a, just the amount of grace enough for you to overcome every battle. Right. It you says. Know? Verse 6, and if by grace, then it is no more works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be a works, then it is no more grace. Right. Otherwise, works is no more work. Hey, what is works compared to the beginning it was written? You know what I'm saying? You, you can't, it's impossible for you to amount any type of works to what's been written already. What are you ever going, what you go through, what, you, what you've been through, all of that has been written from the beginning. So it's like no amount of works can save you. You can't boast. You That's can't boast. Spirit, bro, because we just talked about the meek. Yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. fuck you, both. I do this. I do that. <laughs> I'm this and that. No, man, the, the Lord said you can't. You can't do enough. Huh. Man, right. We have all these members of our camps and all that mm -hmm. goofy shit. We got my fringes, they dangle to my knees. Like, oh, just fall back, bro. <laughs> the Lord yeah. don't deal with numbers. Nah, nah. <laughs> the Lord had a small sanctuary, yeah. man. And we say faith without works is dead. Hey, being alone. Huh. <laughs> you see? Hey, it takes two, man. You know? Hey, what happened with the Sadducees and Pharisees? They had, they was work, 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 no faith. This time, you got faith, 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 no works. So you got the Christian church. It's unbalanced, but guess what? They elect, they got the balance. They got the balance. And that full balance is Yahweh. You know, by Hashem Yahweh. Does it say you got to have both, man? And while not boasting, dude. Because they know that they're not perfect. Exactly. They know that it's all through Yahweh Bashir Yahweh Shai, that their footsteps is, is directed by the Lord. Huh? I got a quick precept. Uh, you got some more there? Yeah, one more. Uh, verse 7, Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which is seeking for, but the election but the election hath attainment, and the rest were blinded. Hey. Hey, Lord well, willing, we be of that number, man. Hey, we, we've been called. We don't know we've been chosen. Uh -huh. That's why we know it's good to say, what? Well, give diligence to make that like, calling and election sure. sure. Going back into having the faith with the works. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, hey, yo, your faith, it should reflect in your um, your work. That's right. You believe and trust in something. Yeah, hey, you're going gonna, 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 gonna to utilize it. You're just going to show. That's right. You know, your, 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 your belief, uh, your daily walk should reflect your belief. You know, you got people, I believe in yeah. Jesus, but you 
you had a motherfucking hog fest. I mean, not Jesus, but you know, mm-hmm. that's name is damn like, uh, Spocky. That ain't the Lord's name. But you got people that say, I believe in, I believe in God. But you had a goddamn hog fest, eating pork sausages. That shit, like, when the Lord speak out against that. Or you, or you marching for um, the alphabet gang. Yeah. You yeah, know? Ultimately, they, they, they weren't given the, uh, the faith and grace that y'all by showing out. It's not ultimately the fear of the Lord, because if they have the fear of the Lord upon them, they're not going to be indulging in these things. Preach. They're going to have that guilty conscience that constantly eats them up. Like, damn, am I doing right by y'all by showing out? You know? Uh, this is James chapter 2 verse 17 even so faith if it have not works is dead being alone mm-hmm. it says yea a man say it's so like a man may say thou hast faith and I have works show me thy faith without thy works hey what's if I'm able to say I think first Corinthians 9 and 14 it says in those who preach the gospel must also live it. Yeah. And you gotta practice what you practice preach. What you yeah. Like Barry White said, practice, practice what you, you read. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It says, Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Yeah. Show your faith. Hey, we got good examples. Hey, Daniel, the, the apostles. Woo! Hey, uh, jo- uh, Joseph. You know, yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying? They, it was, you know, hey, Daniel, a mighty story, man. He put his faith in the Lord. Yeah. How'd you be thrown in the den of lions? Or the three holy children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that was a, that was a te- that was a show of act of faith. Yahweh yeah, Shai. Yeah, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Could you imagine you witnessing a furnace being on fire? Yeah, bro. The demons in your mind, you know, the, 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 the thoughts. But you like, man, the Lord got me. Because Satan likes to come and play in your mind, like, you know, what's bad? What's, what are you doing? You see how hot that fire is? Yeah, because they turn it up like so many notches above that even the people that threw them in got burnt up. Yeah. And, and just, the Lord was with them. Yeah, the Lord was right there in the midst. And hey, they was walking, they was cruising through the fire, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, being, what? They wasn't being burned or nothing because the Lord was protecting them. Like you said, the, the elect are untouchable. Yeah, untouchable. Well, he was in a fire. Like, is that a fourth figure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that, hold on. I didn't put four people in there. Well, he tried to go near it, it burned him. You know? Yeah. But they're in there, you know, chilling. Hey, hey, like Peter, man, walking on water. Uh-huh. And as soon as he yeah. in the fight, the Lord grabbed him. Yeah. 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 Sure, you might get weary, but that's when the Lord will grab you up. Hey, the scripture says what? A just man falleth seven times, yeah. but he get back up because the Lord upholdeth him. You see, he holds you up. That's why you keep you keep falling. The Lord get you back up because it's ordained. Yeah, rock. Exactly. Hey, we got faith. That, hey, those type of miracles are coming back. Who yeah. knows? Esau may roll. We may be at the edge of a, a river or shit or a water, large body of water. Right. And Lord, like, just walk across the water. He just like just start taking off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going to determine when you get that was a good is that faith, man? Your faith. All right, yeah, you can do it. All right, I believe I can do it. You better run across the water here. Uh-huh. Hitting feet, yeah. hitting it, bro. Just can't no say. Actually, I seen. I think I seen a video. Running across the swamp pond or some shit like that. You know, and he was actually running across it with, with some speed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God. he's out trying to roll. Like, Let's get the speed. Like, oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> that robo dog started catching. <laughs> it can't even work. <laughs> Damn. Uh, uh, that was it on it. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I think um, let's finish verse 7 and then we can stop there. Oh, okay. And do a part two. Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 49. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 7. Is, it says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to him whom man despises, to him whom the nation abhorred. To a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship. Oh, what it says? They shall what? Worship. Mm-hmm. Who shall be worshipped? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It's good to say what? He said, I'm going to make my enemy, I die enemies. Uh, like footstools. He was talking to who? Yahweh Shai. Mm-hmm. You know, but the elect being joint heirs. Being under him will have what? Servants too, man. You know, but hey, this is all about, like the brother said before, Yahweh Shah. Right? And we just 
through the spirit and through the grace and honor, we're able to what? Get the blessings with them. You know? We don't have service. We don't have service. Join heirs. Yeah, join heirs. Hey, well, as a joint heir, you're his relative. You're his brother. So if he's up, we up. Me casa. Me su casa. my Cash my shoe. Hey, the Lord's direct, man. <laughs> hey, you got it, brother. I'm going to back that up real quick. It's Isaiah 60 and 10. It says, And the sons of strangers yeah. shall build up thy walls, Ooh. and their kings shall minister unto thee. Hey, just like what we were ministers unto them. Huh? You know? Oh, they were, we were servants Service. unto them. Yeah, you know? You go into that word minister right there, man. Hey, we were servants and slaves unto him. In Revelations 13 and 9, verse 10, I'm going to get that so I can't butcher it. You got one? That made the okay. Rothschilds, your ass been going okay. to captivity. Huh? You feel like we always say, oh, sound like to say, man, you finna go from suits to sackcloth. Yeah, right? and, and, they, and they changed their word servant, man, to employee now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Pretty much, it's just, you pretty much just a servant, man. That's right. You know? I mean, take the stinking ass suit off and you finna put them, them, these sackcloths on, these okay. chains. That's right. Garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one playing the chain. And potato sacks. A wrap uh, cloth diaper. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is the cover of the primary. Here you go. Put your ass up here. <laughs> this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. I'm going to start at 9. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear it. Right? Everybody got ears, but if you can understand, okay. right, understand this. Verse 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Hey, if I may add, because it was too small, has to have fun at those slave cargo slave ships, man. Right. Mm -hmm. So your ass gonna reap what you sow. That's right. We gonna have we gonna have slave ships, man. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have your ass just sitting at Obey in the middle of the sea for years. <laughs> no food, no water, just float, but still alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. These slaves are gonna say how was shot. Yeah. Instead of Jesus. Yeah, slave. You know what I'm saying? Or a brother name. <laughs> That's all you hear is a shack. Right. Yeah. Right them. And you know who's going into captivity first? Their kings, man. Oh, yeah. Why? Because our kings went into captivity first, man. Uh, they didn't just lock up mere people, just pick regular No, they locked up kings, man. Princesses, man. You know what he's saying? Songs they bind their kings with chains. Yeah. And that knows no, was what feathers of iron, man. Hey, you well, know? no, never then the role who they took. Who, who, who Daniel was of the lineage of the king. Huh. They was the descendants yeah. of the uh, king. And they were kings. Huh. Right. Yeah. You know, they yeah. took what the uh, the king at the time put his ass in captivity. You know. Huh. Mm -hmm. So what's gonna think gonna happen to you? Huh. Especially you got damn rock. You know, you damn elites. Huh. You know, because right now they, they talking all this shit, but you finna be in chains real quick. Right, right? They, they bold, man. Yeah. yeah. What they saying, uh, uh, if you don't don't want to serve me, hey, you gonna die? Mm -hmm. Some uh, roughly paraphrasing. If you were on nothing, you'd be happy. Huh? Yeah. Okay. They're telling you to do it to your face. Yeah. yeah. You just proud. choose to do it. And your ass gonna own no, own nothing right. and be miserable. Fuck you talking about. That's right. Clausy. <laughs> it says that uh, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. It's evident that they killed us with the sword. Yeah, you know? you got it. that's right. It says here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Mm -hmm. So the saints are patiently waiting mm -hmm. to put your ass in captivity. All right, we're patiently waiting. We're suffering to put your ass in slavery. That's what this is saying, man. You put us into captivity. We're patiently waiting to put you in bondage. That's what the true saints are waiting for, man. That's true reparations. Yeah, we waiting on that uh, transition of power. That's right. Yeah. Says here is the faith yeah. and the patience of the saints. We believe this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like everybody got their own belief. We hold this to a high standard. Right. For your ass going into captivity, man. Right. And what is faith? That's right. That's <laughs> the thing he's not seen. Right. Yeah, yeah, hey, right. Hebrews 11, yeah, man. Like, 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 he's hopeful, man. Yeah. Like yeah. a lion. Yeah. A lion got to be patient to get his prey. Yeah. Come on, yeah. It's sitting there watching that damn wool of buffalo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to wait. You got to wait. You stealth. Okay. You got stealth. He got to be incognito. He got to yeah. hide behind the brush. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Perfect time Con. to strike. Right. Yeah. And a perfect time to strike is when your howl shot come back. Con. Con. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's over with. He's gonna roar. Hey, the scripture says he's ready to leap. he's leap. he's ready to leap down, man. Uh -huh. If you got the archangel Michael ready too, 
Mm. You see what I'm saying? He's ready. As soon as Yahweh gives them, he's ready to just leap down. And in that vengeance are all those who have despised him and all those who hate his people. He's ready, man. It's all about Yahweh. As soon as Yahweh, it's like a, it's like a, you got a pit on a chain. You know what I'm saying? And it's like he's just ready to just take off. Yeah. Yahweh is the one that's controlling Yahweh shot. You ever seen one of those pits in the hood, man? Oh, yeah. And one of them dudes, you see what I'm saying? Your house shot's ready to leap off. You got to say it's a cold. Or yeah. Or mm -hmm. whatever that yeah. cold. Yeah. And then as soon as that cold comes, mm -hmm. that pit is ready to kill. The Lord is coming back, man, as a lion. You know? Oh, that was it on that. You can finish that up. And then we can close up. It says, uh, yeah, he had one more precept. Yeah. You can finish that. Uh, Start back from the top of Isaiah 16 and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Hey, he will give mercy unto Jacob. Huh. Always, man. Hey, every captivity, believe it or not, the Lord has always sent the Savior. Huh. It's a, it hasn't been a captivity that the Lord haven't, like, delivered. It's, even though this captivity has been long under their rulership of the Edomites and stuff, but what the Lord is going to send a Savior under the rulership of who? Esau Edom. Huh. You see? Every time the Lord has delivered us, man, and then we are mess up and going to captivity again. Mess up and going to, but this time, he no longer we not go, we not going to captivity no more, man. No more, man. It's over with. The, our minds shall be changed. We shall be born again, man. We gonna send the final judge. Yeah. That's right. You know, like the Book of Judges, man. You keep you know, the brother's reference, man. You know, which many other books as well, man. Hey, the Lord, we fuck up. Also the judge. Yeah. He's finna send the final judge. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is uh Isaiah 49. I guess I'll read seven. Uh, again, it says, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, the Redeemer of Israel, and his holy one, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see. And arise. Princes also shall worship because the Lord, Yahweh, that is uh, faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and He shall choose thee. Hey, He's going to set up one who is profitable. That one who's, you know what I'm saying, going to deliver us from everything, set us up in true rulership, and, you know, hopefully, you know, we're part of that number, man. Lord willing. You know, Lord willing, we're part of that number. Anybody got something? <laughs> That's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. All right, with that, we're going to end it by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh. All right, double honors once again to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom one. All right, once again to the elect. Don't let your sins weigh you down. Don't let your iniquities lift up themselves. You know, that's what they want to do. It's your job to repent and keep it moving, man. All right, and wah, 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 w